Oh, we love our pets, don't we? And there's few things more fun than spending time outdoors with those pets in the summertime. But there are common mistakes that dog owners make with their pets when it comes to water safety. So joining us with very important pet safety tips is Jim Helms, owner of Jim Helms Dog Pals in Southampton. Jim, nice to have you here. And Hi, important guys. information we're going to cover today. Right. So let's get right to it. The first thing is dogs love to swim, but they're often lapping water during that time, and you can drink too much water. Right. I mean, you've probably heard of it. I mean, you even had heard stories where humans have actually died from drinking too much water. Mm -hmm. It actually happens to our dogs, too, especially if you're throwing sticks out there or balls, and they're fetching that stuff, and they're bringing it back. Well, they're swallowing water this whole time. So what happens is it actually affects their electrolytes, and they can actually have convulsions and die. So be really cognizant yep. of that when you're out in the water with your dog. Right. And also, take them out. Right. It's good to take them out, but don't force them to swim to right. learn how to swim because then they can just be traumatized and be afraid of the water. Right. And that's, a lot, again, the same thing. A lot of people do that. They get that new dog and they go, oh, let's go swimming together. And the dog's a little bit afraid and maybe they just throw it into the pool or they carry it into the water. Mm -hmm. And then the dog just freaks out and now it could literally take you months or even years to get that dog comfortable in the water again. Now, when a dog's in a pond, you don't necessarily have to rinse them off, but after coming out of a pool, it's imperative that we do. Yeah, there's a lot of chemicals in pools, chlorine. I mean, I know there are some different types of filtration systems, mm -hmm. but it can actually affect their skin, and they can actually have a reactions to it. So when you're done let, and they're having a great time, just pull them out and wash them off with the hose. You get, get those chemicals off the dog. And we're looking at a picture right now of a sad dog getting washed <laughs> off. And, and almost uh, never do dogs enjoy getting washed off, but you got to do it. you got to do it. Yeah. It's just good for them. So you could use hose water, obviously, That's you're outside, yeah, just, just hose. hose them down. You don't have to yeah. put them in the tub. That can be scary for, you know, anyone. <laughs> oh, but it's freezing cold water. Oh, my dog's going to be so furious watching this. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, it really is. You want to wash them off because a lot of dogs do have a infect or infections or allergic reactions to the chlorine and stuff. They're sensitive, so, yeah, right. They are. And not all breeds are necessarily good swimmers, so <laughs> you have to keep that in mind, too, because some may need a life preserver like kids. Yep. I mean, a lot of dogs, there's nothing wrong. If you're out canoeing or out in the lake, you may want to actually use that life preserver for safety because dogs can get tired and they do drown out there. But bulldogs and pugs especially, I mean, there's a couple of those breeds that really are not really meant for swimming. <laughs> they, they sink like stones. <laughs> we'll keep yeah. them out of the water. They're land dogs. Yes. They're so cute though, aren't they? Well, lastly, I know a lot of kids get spooked by this stuff, but pets do too and they don't know how to you know, internalize it and conceptualize it. Uh, fireworks. So what do we need to know when it comes to the fireworks? The general principle, don't bring them to the fireworks. I mean, I gotta go lie, there are definitely some dogs that are great in crowds, great with loud noises. But if you freak out that dog for the first time, you bring them, they may get become afraid of backfiring cars, they may be getting afraid of thunder and lightning, and then you've got to live with that dog for the rest of your life. So if you torture them in a way, I mean, it's not really torture, I get it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you can literally hurt them for the rest of their lives. And I've known dogs who will literally jump through second store screen windows that will rip apart houses because of, of loud noises. So don't bring them. There's no real reason to it. You can go and enjoy it and don't bring your dog. And so if we're going to keep them in the house, there's going to be those loud noises. Should we lock them in a, a room where they're feel, they feel safe? I don't know if I say locking. I mean, keep them with something that makes them safe. So if they've got a great bed that they love to lay down in, um, some dogs do love their crates. Put them in their crate. Turn on some uh, music, some calming music, mm -hmm. or something that they like. So it'll help them keep them calm. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. 22 News. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're yeah. always friendly. Yeah. One o'clock, they can watch us. Yeah. Uh, that's coming up at one o'clock on the CW. But I think also my dog's afraid of thunder, so I know he's not going to be like the loud no. noises, like a, a firework. No. So we have to keep it, that in mind, you know, mm -hmm. that we have to keep in mind their right. needs. And also, I think it goes without saying, too, this is such a picnicky time of year. Uh, when pets are outside, when people are cooking outside, it, it's a different kind of cooking. So there's a lot of people who feed pets, a lot of food falls to the ground. We need to be really aware of that, too. Correct. I mean, especially there's a lot of foods that dogs just can't eat. I mean, raisins, grapes, onions really are not good for dogs. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to give them a lot of breads and stuff like that. I'm not going to lie. If I'm eating, my dog eats something that I eat. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, that's good. But, but keep in mind it's what's good. Right. I'm not giving them chips. Yeah. Not giving them the chips. Everything right. in moderation. Happy 4th of July. Thank happy, you. And happy 4th of July out there to you two. Have a great, safe celebration. Stay tuned for 20 Teens at Noon coming up next. Thanks to our veterans for fighting for our freedom. Have a wonderful weekend.